Hey guys, this is Dalton and Chad back here at Coyote Classics bringing you one more gorgeous Pontiac muscle car. This uh, 1970 Pontiac Le Mans Sport came into our dealership about, uh, I'd say what, about three, four weeks ago, D? That's about right. Yeah, something like that. Um, we just got it finished uh, putting our Coyote Classic touches on this car and uh, now it's ready for your garage. So we're super proud of this car. I'll give you a little history on it. This is a two owner original car and the previous owner has owned it for the past 50 years. Since that uh, decided it wanted to blow over, we'll uh, go to this and tell you a little bit about it. So here's what the car looked like when it came into us. It had the, uh, when we still have them, we have the original Pontiac rims with the white wall tires. Um, it has the tan, kind of the tan top, um, no hood tack, no spoiler, and those kind of rims and tires on it. So, like I said, we just kind of gave it the Coyote Classic touch and uh, made it uh, to what we think is a beautiful muscle car. Got all kinds of documents with it too, PHS documents. Uh, I don't know what else we got, but a bunch of, bunch of documents on it. We got a few pictures of the paint job when it was done back in 1998, 1999. That's when this paint job was done, and it still looks absolutely fantastic today. Yeah, yeah. And the guy that had it, like I said, 50 years, he had it in his collection. And he just really, obviously took great care of it. Yeah, he did. Um, and it was a beautiful car when it came in here, but now it is just an awesome, badass looking muscle car in my opinion. Yeah. So we went ahead and put uh, brand new torque thrust rims, raised white letter tires, brand new hood tachometer, rear spoiler. Uh, we did go ahead, uh, Dalton's gonna pop the hood. Um, the engine compartment, the previous owner said uh, that the engine was never out of the car. So it's an 82,000 mile car, I think. Um, so when it came in, the uh, excuse me, the rain, rear main seal was leaking. So to, in order to do those in a Pontiac, you have to pull it out. We pulled the motor completely out, um, put a new rear main seal in it, and when we did that, we painted the engine compartment a little bit, um, freshened that up. And uh, this uh, Pontiac XX Code two-barrel engine, 400 runs, beautiful. It does have ice cold factory air conditioning, power steering, and power brakes. The bottom of the hood's all painted in a nice matte black. When this car was repainted, it probably was done its original colors, right? Yeah. When it was repainted in 98, they did a fantastic job jamming it. And as you look at it from front to back on the center fenders, it looks fantastic. Here's just a little uh, sticky note of maybe with some oil changes or something were done. I'll leave it there for now, but that's all that is, is a little piece of tape with some uh, writing on it. As far as our codes go, the paint is 55 with the H for the top. Trim is 268. If you're looking at uh, just jumping in a classic muscle car convertible, this Pontiac would do it. I mean, this will go anywhere you want it to go. 100%. Pedro actually drove up an hour and a half to, to us up here. Cool. As far as the uh, front paint on the uh, balance is in excellent shape. The front bumper looks great. The grill's nice. It's a great look. On the front nose here, we do have just a little bit of a paint chip right here. That paint, I love that color. It's called Baja Gold. It's just a great it's looking color. Yes, it sure is. Um, our gaps are really nice from front to back here. Those wheels with this paint color, it just completely sets it off. The other thing I wasn't real crazy about when this car came in, it had some higher springs in the back. I don't know why the previous owner disliked it that way. We went ahead, took those out, put the correct springs in it. It just brought this whole car to a great stance in my opinion. The stance on these muscle cars is everything, guys, and, and this car has it. Yeah. It does have front disc brakes. Um, for tires, for the size, we went, uh, we went ahead and went with uh, uh, 225 70 15s on the front of it. All the gaps on this car are great too. The hood gap, the passenger side door gap here, the body line is perfect. As we go here, the uh, lower fender's in great shape. It's got the 400 uh, emblems on the rocker moldings. As far as our lower quarter, lower door is in great shape. 
door handles are original, so there is some oxidation, not like little bubbles, but some little scratches and stuff on that. The car just need, I mean, the car is gorgeous, but a light buff would just really make it just an absolute show car, in my opinion. Yeah, it would. And it's hard to believe that this is, what, like, about 30 year old paint? Yeah. Close? 20. 20 year old paint? Yeah, 20 year old paint. Close. Did you say it was 98 or 88? In remember. the 90s, so no. Okay. All right, as far as our back bumper goes, back bumper, front bumper, all looks like it's still the original. You can tell that it's just got just a couple little scuffs and just a little age, but the chrome still shines great. It's got single exhaust, Alton. It's never had a set of duals put on this 400 two-barrel car. It's always had the single. The body is super straight. Um, the gaps and stuff like that on the trunk lid area are excellent. I don't think this car's really had any rust in it. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, uh, Jason spent about three or four hours on the undercarriage of this. I mean, just completely power washed any dirt, grime off of it. And you can see all the uh, original metal on the whole floor's frame and trunk on it. Now it does have a power top. The power top works perfect. And it's uh, kind of tan and kind of a tan in color. We'll get some pictures. If you want some still pictures of the top, we can get them. It's a newer top. He put that on when he did the paint job too. Um, and he said he had a heck of a time finding the correct brown top. And that's correct for the- That's correct. That's awesome. what it came with from the factory. Um, as far as the black interior, again, I believe it's 100% original. Um, Jay did go ahead and dye the carpet a little bit. So you can see that the carpet's just a little thin, but it's 100% original and so are the seat covers. And the seat covers are in great shape. Um, Jay spent 11 hours on the detail in this car, just going through every nook and crevice on it. Look at the quality of paint in the door jams. Here's our uh, corner of the door right here. The inside door jam pillar was all jammed and painted. It's another thing I like. When he did paint this car, even though he went back the same color, he did jam it properly. So many people don't jam them. So the door jam paint is just as nice as the exterior paint on the car. Um, it's got the correct mats in it, which is kind of nice back here. That really preserved the back uh, seat carpet there. Back door panels are in great shape. I think what we'll do for them, Dalt, um, is we will take up, we'll take this top and put it up in a little bit. Uh, both lights work in the back. Dalton's gonna go ahead and take the boot off. As we open up in here, very nice. It's got electric electric trunk release as well. Does that work, D? The electric trunk release, you wanna check it out? No. Nope. Okay. AC works great on it. Compressor just kicked in. We'll mess with that radio in just a little bit here and see if we can get that working. Probably. I think the radio, you were saying it might have a little ground issue. Sounds like it. It's got an AM FM converter down there. It definitely makes noise, but it's not working properly right now. The horn works, and guys, we have 84, I might have mentioned 82, we have 84,265 original miles on this Pontiac. Gas gauge works, uh, clock does not work, radio makes a little noise, other than that, uh, everything seems to be working. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top up, and as we said before, the back lines and stuff are great on this car. Top goes up nice and evenly. Did you say he did put a new top about the same time as he painted the car? So the top uh, was new about 1998 as well. It does have a glass back window. And he did go ahead and uh, down in this area and the well liner, it's all brand new and replaced as well. We got them both, good. There, that way everyone has a good look of uh, what it looks like with the top up. Yeah, this is such a sweet car. 
Um, as far as both sides of this car are laser straight, the body line lines up perfectly on the door, the fender, the quarter. Just phenomenal car. Whoever gets this car is going to be super impressed with it. The body, the paint, the floors, the whole look. And the thing with this car too is Le Mans Sport are very hard to come by. Le Mans Sport convertibles, you don't see. No. I mean, you. Most you people don't. opted for the GTO. You yeah. know, if they were going to go ahead and uh, get a convertible and and go from just the basic Le Mans to the Sport, they were going to spend an extra 50, 100 bucks and get the GTO. Exactly. You know, with the same motor, yeah. basically. So not very many, and then you find one of two owners. I mean, 80,000 original miles, and it's just phenomenal. This car is gonna. This car is gonna sell fast, and it's gonna make the next owner super, super happy. And I did find it, so I just heard a little pat on the back. You did a great job. Um, as we go here, and I might have missed the other uh, corner of the door, guys, but I'll make sure I get this one. As we go here, the uh, corner of the door is excellent. Door panel is in fantastic shape. It's like brand new. Um, the bottom carpet was faded just a little bit, so we did use the correct aerosol dye on that as well. Um, we have a little bit of a... Uh, blemish right here. It's not a hole or nothing, but a little repair down there. And on this cord, you can see the cord is just a little worn right down here. Other than that, it's just in fantastic condition. I'm gonna roll your windows up. I mean, the air is blowing ice cold. Yeah, that's huh? Nice. That's nice. And it's very it nice. Hey, we also have tilt wheel. Here's your wipers. Hood tack works great. Yep. Can you do it? Yep. Uh, it's got remote mirror as well, guys. So very well optioned. Hood tack, remote mirror, tilt wheel, uh, AM radio, FM converter, uh, trunk release, which doesn't work in the trunk, but everything Hood else. Tack wasn't, it wasn't factored. No, but it should have been. Should have been. Should have been. So should have done that rear spoiler, man, because it really made the car. Yeah, it did. So when this car came in, I knew it was a great car, had the great bones, the great history, two owner, but it just did not have the look for me at all. No. So, you know, you would walk right by this car, even though it was a nice, clean, kind of a cream puff car, you'd walk right by it, and I guarantee you no one will walk by it today. No. No, you can't, uh, you can't help it stop. No, those wheels and tires are the perfect combination with the hood tack and the stance. You know, I've already said that a bunch, but I just love this car. And being an original low mileage car, it runs and drives so nice too. Came up to the stop sign a little hot. <laughs> yeah, just a skosh. <laughs> the disc brakes work perfect. There's no pull left or right. Um, just a great car. I hated to uh, see that rear main leak, but uh, to do it right, like I said, we pulled the whole motor out, put a new seal in it, and we made it right. Kick downwards. Yeah. Transmission kick down works good. RPMs about 4,500 shifts. Shift a second. 4,000 RPMs. Shifts up into third. And it just cruises. Yeah, 80 mile an hour cruises with the air ball and ice cool in your face. That's nice. Great smooth. car, you guys. Wow, it's smooth. There's your kick down again. 4,000 RPM, 75 mile an hour. No hands on the wheel. Um, the wheel doesn't shake, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Another great car. <laughs> and how about that wind noise, too? Yeah, it's, it's, not, bad it's not bad at all. There's just a little bit. I can't feel any air. It's all super tight here as we approach the smash car. Much up. We caught the smash Man, this thing is fun. It is It, is. Fun. it might only be a two-barrel single exhaust, guys, but this thing goes down the road 80, 90 mile an hour fast as you want it to go. And smooth. Yeah, very smooth. CoyoteClassics.com, guys, don't miss your chance on this Pontiac. You could be the third owner of this 1970 Le Mans Sport Convertible. CoyoteClassics.com, give us a call.